This is a recent pickup video of games I just picked up at a retro convention that happened last Friday. Don't usually do pickup videos, but this is a way I can keep track of when I buy something and roughly how much I paid for it. Anyway, in no particular order, I got the Conduit 2 on the Wii. This one I got for a pretty good deal. I believe it was $10. I've never played this one or the first one, but it used different control types and, well, kind of looked good to me, but mainly because I paid cheap. Secondly, is Ninja Assault. I know this is a gun game that uses a th the gun con too. I like the other games like this, the shooters, especially with the gun, which I do have. But, well, mainly because it was 10 bucks. Forgotten Worlds, Sega Genesis. Never really played this. I think I put it on for like two seconds just to see what the game looked like, but never really played it. Gonna play this soon. Now that I got my Mega Retro on HD. Another game, never owned this. I think this is the second Metal Gear game on the NES. I'm not 100% sure. Snake's Revenge. I think I paid 15 for this. Just wanted it. Here's another game I've wanted for a while, but every time I see it, people are charging $40 for it because people just like this game. It's not really hard to find, it's just that the people who like this keep this game. But I got it for $25 because of that SH shithead, whoever the hell <laughs> rolled on the game, but whatever, it saved me money. Pretty cool. Game I thought I had. But I guess not. I checked my list and I didn't have it. I know this game is hard as shit. It was 15 bucks, but I mainly got it because I want to try and beat a hard, hard, hard game, which I probably will, won't do. Anyway, that's why I picked up that one. This is a game I picked up because it was $10. It's probably a piece of shit. Judge Dredd. The original movie sucked. The remake was better, which doesn't really happen that often, but it was because it was $10. And it gives me something to record footage from. So that's a plus. This is another game I'm pretty sure is a piece of shit. We're back, a dinosaur story. Again, $10. Don't know anything about this. I don't know what kind of game it is, but again, it's for the channel, 10 bucks. Not a bad deal. These next three games, they were all three for 60. This is a game I really wanted. I liked the cartoon when I was younger which I own now all on DVD. Anyway, three for 20, three for 60, 20 bucks each. I usually don't like Genesis carts loose because they just don't look good. Label's a little torn, but whatever. The gameplay is good. This was 20 also, because it was three for 60. Bonkers. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard that this one is different from the Genesis one that I already played. This one's more, I don't remember if it was a side scroller, I really don't remember. I just know it's not like the Genesis version, which was kind of more for kids, mini games. Anyway, looking forward to playing this one. This is a game that I couldn't, tear, I couldn't turn it down really. It's by Capcom, I know it's good. Never really put any time into it because I didn't own it. But when the guy said it was 25 bucks, then when I ended up buying the other two games, it came down to 20 So this is a good game that I really want to play. And last but not least, WrestleMania, the arcade game. Strategies and Secret Codes, the video guide by WWF and Acclaim. Coliseum Video. I'm never probably going to watch it. I do have a VCR, but I don't know. I'm just worried that it would snap the tape because it's kind of old. But for $5, I couldn't say no. Never really see these anywhere. Plus, I'm a big WWF fan, so why not? Anyway, that's what I picked up. And, uh, well, I'm happy with my purchases. Some of them I probably shouldn't have paid as much as I did, but what are you going to do? That's how collecting goes. Anyway, till next time. Later.